This is Kenneth Vigio. I'm an October 29th baby, so Halloween for me has been more than just a holiday. It's a dark calling, and in my veins. Born in New England, Halloween has always pumped with candy corn and caramel bullseyes, and a chill crispness with the scent of wet leaves. It should come as no surprise, then, that Ray Bradbury is one of my favorite authors. But growing up in the 80s, when I roamed the streets of that seaport town of Newburyport, with the swishing of my finest Kmart Casper costume, or the fluttering devilry of my Dracula cape in later years, I was introduced to Mr. Bradbury through television. I listened and watched as Leonard Nimoy himself, as the cunning Mr. Moundshroud, took cartoon children on a Halloween adventure in the TV movie The Halloween Tree. Later, on the Disney Channel, when Disney used to take children to dark places more so than today, I saw what became my favorite Bradbury tale of all time, Something Wicked This Way Comes. It is a story that explores the fathomless depths of the human heart, of the transition from wide-eyed and innocent youth to the burdened longing and regret of adulthood. On those Halloweens when my feet didn't touch the floor, I would sit with my grandmother and munch away on my gotten gains from a pillowcase, and we'd watch them both. On Halloweens and on many days, I miss her deeply. This story is a love letter to both the costumed child inside all of us, still gleefully skipping into the darkness, and to my grandmother, who whispers now only on the autumn wind, reminding me to never let go of that little boy's hand. The cast of Chad, a Fallout 76 story, proudly present Halloween in October Country. such a stick in the mud. I look ridiculous. Why can't we stay in and just pop some corn and watch Night of the Fishman's Revenge? And miss out on the party of the year? Come on! We haven't seen Dick since he went off to Vault Tech U. And his parents are vacationing in Berkeley Springs, so we'll have the whole house to ourselves. He brought some frat buddies from Ed So what? I doubt any of those guys are going to see a freckled girl with glasses in a short skirt and a dumb hat and say, Step aside, fellas. That sexy witch is mine. Oh, you're not giving yourself enough credit, Debbie Downer. You look cute. Besides, the way the world is, you never know if we're going to have another Halloween. For all we know, we'll be spending the next one in Vault 76. Have you seen those vault suits? My ass is going to look huge. Well, damn. They really went all out. Look at this place. (laughs) Look at that Mr. Handy painted like a pumpkin. That's great. Happy Halloween! (laughs) I think they got cute and reprogrammed it. Oh, god damn it. What's wrong? Stupid heel got caught in the sewer grate. Snapped my heel off. Come on, Amanda, who cares? Take them off. Let's get our spook on. I am not going barefoot at a frat party. They'll be doing keggers and the floor is going to be all sticky. There's a little store over a few streets. I'll just grab some glue. You go ahead. You'd better not bail on me. And watch out for the Beckley Butcher. (laughs) No, I promise. You'd be good. I won't. <laughs> Let's go out, Amanda. It'll be fun, Amanda. God, I hate Halloween.
Hello? Is someone there? Good job, Amanda. Now you're talking to yourself. That's a sure hallmark of a sad loser. That's weird. I smell cotton candy and fried dough? Sal's grinder must be doing a street carnival. No, it's coming from the woods? Gun. Holy joy. I'll gobble your nose. The butcher will make his jelly with your toe. Oh no. No! Help! It's the butcher! No! Dead end. Help! Open the door! Don't ever laugh. As hours go by. No. No, please. No! <laughs> Maybe the next good day. <laughs> good evening. One for two, two for three. Lucky, lucky me. The Beckley Butcher. How quaint. How, if you will pardon me, unimaginatively alliterative. Please, mister. Help me! And I shall. The hour grows late, and this one is not for you. Off with you. <laughs> silly, silly man. Don't you see what I am? I paint with a knife and laugh them to the grave. Let me show you. <laughs> Oh my god, are you okay, mister? You embarrass me. The blade barely registers a tickle. Jeff, you people, you're always a Jeff or a Charles, the basest of names, but I see right through you. Uh, I stabbed you. The lost boy, tossed to the streets and the wind. A bastard living amongst society's refuse, and your kin, the rats of Beckley, touched only by the fists from drunkards and dullards, and by others in other places considered inviolate by the chaste. You. I've been waiting for you. I heard you call. I always hear you, Nipsey. I will Come for you when I think you are ready. Until then, leave my sight. Help! Help! Leave now! She is not for you! There. That business is concluded. Are you all right, my dear? Yes. You... you saved me. That was the Beckley Butcher. I was so scared. Well, that is, I believe, the appropriate reaction on All Hallows' Eve. <laughs> well, that's certainly true. Love the costume. Classic ringmaster with a hat and cane. Thank you so much. You saved my life. It appears that you have suffered from a guising mishap. A what? Your shoe, my dear. I think perhaps that it, in its current state, it makes this particular witch so much less an imposing figure. This night, after all, belongs to your sisters, long since beneath the crushing stone or burned to ash upon a pyre while cold and hungry eyes look on. You do them, I think, 
a disservice. Well, what's it to you anyway? Accidents happen, mister. Dark. Pardon? My name is Mr. Dark. Yes, well, accidents happen. So apparently do sewer grates. Look, I'm sorry. Thank you, but I'm going home. This night has been awful. Hmm. Funny little word. Accident. We throw it around so casually now, like a youth who throws salt upon an icy walkway who couldn't care less for the fragile bones of parent or elder. So sloppy, so haphazard. But at its ancient root, when the calendar prefix once read 13 instead of 20, it did not mean disaster or doom. It meant an occurrence, incident or event that comes by chance. Well then, an event happened that led me to running for my life down an alley. When I could have been at home, or at least awkwardly standing in the corner of a party drinking. Alone, and not seen by anyone. Ah, there, right there. Seen. Yes, exactly. Here is where the threads weave together, if you but open your mind. The word accident in Latin is accident, from a phrase where the word now conjures up images of disaster and doom. Sequit qui accident, which translate to if anything should happen to one. Look, I need to get to the store before it closes, mister. The shop lights have gone out already, Amanda. Two streets over where shopkeeper Mr. Charles Worthy is making himself less so as he fumbles behind the corner in the dark with his assistant behind the dirty, dirty counter. All the while his sick wife, who has been so for more years than he has patience for, sits waiting at home, staring at the clock waiting for medicine that is sitting on that dirty, dirty counter. How... How did you know my name? I never said my name. But that phrase, spoken on the lips of the robed philosopher and lusty concubine, was a euphemism to die. You... you're scaring me. To see, to be seen. You, Amanda, are a radiant stamen inside a bulb not yet bloomed. In the lonely corners you look out at thrusting jocks, babbling blondes, at teachers getting too casual and lecherous cads, surreptitiously slipping something dreadful into the drinks of an intended. You see them, and yet you are blind to your own shadow and to what lies at your shuffling, fumbling feet. That is a telling tragedy. Who are you? (laughs) Three simple words as common as butter on bread. They die on your lips because they come from your fumbling feet. You can do better. Speak from where you see, or I have no time for you. What? What do you want from me? There. A petal peeks open and there is a sliver of that radiant, dark beauty of the ebony rose blooming at night. It's about want, isn't it? Come closer. What are you doing? I want you to see what I can show. Use your mind's eye to see beyond flesh, beyond blood and marrowed bone to the soul itself, and then one step further. Look. Look here. Come close. On your chest. Tattoos. Tattoos. This century has abbreviated words of power and distilled them down to trivial conversation bites that have neither weight nor true meaning. (sighs) I am Mr. Dark, the illustrated man. And look through. What do you see? I... I see... a road. No, no. The road is moving. That's impossible. How how are you doing that? Look beyond the hills. What lies just there? I see. 
an old-time carnival with a Ferris wheel and jugglers, a haunted house ride, and a mirror maze? Yes. Yes. And there? A midway. Oh, I can smell the popcorn and the sizzling sausages and fried dough. The teeth sticky warmth of the caramel apples on sticks of ash skewered through pippins the color of blood amongst glittering games of chance. Look, look, see further. There's a wagon, an ancient wagon, older than the carnival, from another era. The door is open. Inside, beyond weathered door with peeling flecks of paint, the color of bone, what is there? Look, look! That's... that's me. Look! She is the dust witch, bound to the earth, shackled by the fates blind, and yet she sees, taste to the ages as dead as forgotten tomes, the raven hair of youth, oh see it change as it sees to the last chapters, the flames and madness, in pandemonium you will dance with us in dust and no. darkness. <laughs> oh, Riley is dead, and old Riley don't know it. Oh, Riley is dead, and old Riley don't know it. They're both lying dead in the very same bed, and neither one knows that the other is dead. <laughs> Appalachia, October 30th, 57 degrees Fahrenheit, clear night sky with a full moon. A week till Halloween and I have set up a temporary shelter near the Pumpkin House, a pre-war local attraction of some repute. Every October they would line street fronts and porch rails, steps and awnings with pumpkins, delicately carved with everything from vault boys to the traditional spooky face, with spiked teeth and leering eyes. I've been feeling off since my misadventure in Helvetia. I haven't been sleeping well, and when I do, I keep having the same dream. I'm back in the vault, 12 years old again. Jake and Amada by my side. We're dressed for trick-or-treating, and we're cheering as a parade marches by. Slowly, the parade changes to an old-time carnival and sideshow clomping, tired-looking elephants and clowns and freaks of all kinds. I start to cry as they become more and more deformed and just 
wrong. The end of the parade starts to pass by, and some of them are carrying a coffin. On top of it... On top of it is a man in an old black suit with coattails and a shiny black hat perched on top of his head. As he approaches me, the more I cry, the more he laughs, louder and longer. I watch as the skin around his mouth splits like broken earth that hasn't tasted rain in eons. There's no blood, and I think there hasn't been in a long time. His skin flakes off in pieces and strips and turns to dust. And with long, skeleton-like hands, he unbuttons his vest and shirt, and there's there's a desiccated skeleton underneath, the skin and muscle just gone, but with a dusty ribcage exposed. I cry and scream, and he, he enjoys it. He reaches down and quickly, decidedly, snaps first one rib and then another, the noise like a gunshot. Snap, snap, snap. He beckons me and I shuffle forward. I can't stop. There's nothing but a bleached skeleton now, his shell blown away on the winds, and inside him, inside him is nothing. A black so black it hurts my mind. I'm screaming now, my throat burning, and before I can turn and run, he grabs me and pushes me inside, and I fall, screaming into that dark. I always wake up screaming, my clothes soaked through with sweat. On the road for the past few weeks, I keep looking over my shoulder because I feel like something is just behind me. So I decided to stop here and wait. What could it mean? Welcome to the Pumpkin House, one of the most popular attractions in Appalachia. I'm Jack, the caretaker here. You're not even listening to me, are you? Oh yes, indeed. It's good to have a purpose. I mean, I could practically say anything. There's no such thing as too many pumpkins. Uh Uh-huh. Look, how many more of these jack-o'-lanterns do you need, Jack? It can't be called Pumpkin House without more pumpkins! Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween! Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat treat for Halloween! Howdy, fellas! (laughs) Where are my manners? Welcome to the Pumpkin House, one of the most popular attractions in Appalachia. I'm Jack, the caretaker here. Good evening. It sure is, isn't it? Whew! Gonna take a load off for a hot minute. Just the, uh, just the two of you here, Sonny. (laughs) For now. Sometimes some dwellers show up to take pictures or run around the pumpkin patch and then chuck pumpkins at Jack there. Well, sir, you, uh, you got any caps? <laughs> I did, but I was tricked into buying a white wolf fedora off some grifter. Son, you got right rogered with your pants on. <laughs> Boy, what's your name? Simon. Simon Rex. Ignatius Willard is the name. Your voice sounds familiar. Uh, um, uh, yep, uh, no caps, you say? That is what I said, yes. Hmm, got a birthday coming up? What does, yeah, come to think of it, October 30th. Almost was a Halloween baby, but I missed it by one minute. (laughs) Well, I'll tell you what, here. Take this! Free! <laughs> now, before your jaw drops to your unmentionables, old Willie has a simple why. Them rad storms bring a lightning to which the old world never saw. Way I see it is, you be struck by it, bang! Fire and ash, roast poke and cinders you become. Or, you can be the lightning. <laughs> what is that? 
This here is a Tesla rifle, and she has a name. I call her Nightlight, which would have helped old Willie out when he found himself groping around that Las Vegas whorehouse back in the day and got a head full of grapes. <laughs> Boy, it's heavy and funny looking. I've never seen a rifle like this, but you scratched up the casing here. What is that? That there is a scarab. Didn't you learn about the Egyptians in the vault, boy? The scarab is a symbol of resurrection. But why? Why carve it on this? Why? Why? Boy, the last time I saw eyes that haunted was when my army buddy came back from Thailand. You've tasted death, haven't you? A thunderclap to the chest, lightning in your veins as the last gasp of you lights up bright in the dark and then fades away. Yes. Lightning and death. Thunder and pain, boy. You can stand like an oak in the middle of a field or you can be lightning yourself. Mind old slick Willie. <laughs> and happy early birthday, kid. <laughs> Thank you. I, I don't know what to say. I do. A storm is coming, boy, tonight, and it won't be no ordinary storm. What rides on its tails are darkness and clouds the likes of which haven't been seen here in a long time. Tonight? Well, that's what I said. Well, I'm on my way. Remember, boy, you can be the tree or the lightning. Be the tree, and bam! The caps you've been lying about not having in your pocket will be fused and melted. Any boy hit by lightning, if you look into his melted eyeballs, you'll see the last thing he ever saw. A flash of the Almighty, and a soul sucked off to that purgatory. You be ready, you hear? Well, I'm off. I have to drain the snake. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye. I've been thinking about fall, and how for so very long it has been a season that symbolized the twilight of life. And as Halloween approaches, that boundary between fall, life, and winter, death, is the thinnest part of the veil between both. Back in the vault, the overseer would throw an annual pumpkin carving contest of our own, and we'd hang the pumpkins off the trees in the atrium, creating Halloween trees. Pumpkins carved well at night, lit with flickering candles, can be terrifying. But nothing compared to the traditional type. Carved turnips with faces like mummies, images of them in the library archives are nightmare fuel. They've always been used to ward away darkness and evil from... The hell is that? Do you hear that? It sounds like a train whistle. Listen. Strange. I, I could have sworn. Anyway, I'm done with this one. Enjoy. As usual, many thanks for your service. As promised, here are your seeds. Radioactive seeds. Great. Thanks. I'm going to bed. Stormy night, whilst the tempest blows, if someone whistles, that's mysterious Mose, he sees all, he knows all, he gets in everywhere. Some might, he might, wait for you upon the stairs, so when you're going down the cellar, walk upon your toes, and if someone whistles, that's mysterious Mose. Toad, where want meat bag leftovers? Meat bag leftovers? Oh, that's a skeleton, bro. Put it down that way towards the spooky ass inflatable snowman. Punch hate clowns, stupid clowns. Good meat with greasy yuck paint. There. What do you think of that, ankle biter? Can you read that? Remember, sound it out. Take your time. Like a cheerleader. Um, 
B R O Bro F I I no no T Fit Bro Fit H A U N T E D M A Z E Haunted Bees Bro Fit Haunted Bees Yep this will be great. All the plebes get all sad, weird, and hungry to buy up all kinds of pumpkin spice crap. They'll be decking out their camps all sad about how it used to be back in the vault. So this week, before Halloween, we can bank camps with our sweet-ass haunted maze. We'll make a killing. Hey, bro. How's this look? What is that? I took some of those bungee boards we used to use back in the gym in our get-good bit of death and made a stack of them. Great. Why? We can, like, wait till they're deep in the maze, and then I'll throw it at them. Dude, no. What? Why? Because it's lame, and we can do better. Wait till you see the trap door into the bloat fly pit I made. Works like a mint. We'll rake in caps and junk. Hey, Moose, can you, like, tie this for me? Sure, babe. It's a little open in the front here. You showing a little stomach? It's making me feel funny. Thanks. I'm like a road trip trophy wife. Isn't it spooky? What's spooky about it? Like, I off my corporate husband in an insurance scheme and head off to Florida. Chad, are we ready? I want to go scare some people now. Well, now hold on, eager beaver. Go plug your sign in. Show that we're open. Let's play evil child in the corn. Slice and dice, ain't it nice? <laughs> hey, uh, who messed with my fruit punch? <laughs> Stay out of my stuff, you little weirdo. Come on, pets. Let's go make out behind the rose. We can get our spook on when we get some victor uh, customers. Do you think we'll wait long? Who knows? Sometimes you gotta wait. Here, scoot on up here on this crate with me. We gotta finish carving our pumpkins. Tickle my panty! Tickle my panty! I don't feel so well. Gee! Wanna pop? Yeah! Here, just one. I don't want you bouncing off the walls or chasing Patsy with a switchblade all night. Ellen and I love October. It's our favorite month of the year. It's better than birthdays, Thanksgiving, or Christmas. Yeah, I was also partial to it myself. We used to raise hell back in the vault, Moose, Patsy, and me. Did you play games? Mommy and Daddy used to take us to the fancy pants place with all the big houses along the river. There was a nice lady, Mrs. Rivers, who used to throw big Halloween parties with lots of games. Candy apples and nummy cider donuts, yum yum. October is a great month when you're a kid, even in the vault. September sucks balls. It's when school started. August was pretty good. Lots of soccer and baseball matches in the atrium. July was good, no school. Fourth of July parade and stuff. June was great because school would be done and we had all summer to fuck around and hang out. But October, Halloween was the best. Tricks or treats, costume parties, bobbing for apple bags. There is no month like October. Watch your knife now. Your pumpkin's mouth is gonna look funny. What's that? What's what? Do you hear it? It sounds like music. Huh. That's weird. Wonder where that's coming from. Stupid flatable man! Punch put down, go boom! Clown started laughing at punch! Punch smash! Shh! Hang on, dude. Listen. Punch no here! Oh, bad noise! Bad noise! What do you mean, bad noise? Look! There's someone coming up the road! (laughs) 
I want the name of that dude's dealer. He's whistling Christmas carols in October. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Something wicked. Something. Many. Tickle. Wicked. Too. Ella? Much. Ella! What's wrong? That weirdo is throwing papers or something in the air. Bad! Bad! Bad man! Run away! Punch! What the fuck, dude? Ella, wake up! What the hell? Ella! Ella! She's okay. She probably just needs a rest. You mean it? Sure. If not, we just need to change her batteries or something. Look, one of those deep flyers. Hey, everything okay, dude? We heard a crash. Damn wind blew a cornstalk up my ass. Yeah, way to ruin the mood. What's that? Looks like some douche is trying to horn in on our idea. Look for yourself. Coming October 31st, Cougar and Dark's Pandemonium Shadow Show. A Halloween carnival like no other. Original beyond all president. See the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> we'll see about that. And it's precedent, not president. Oh, look! They have rides and treats. Can we go? Can we go? You bet your pigtails we are. I don't want no Johnny come lastly to eat into our holiday profits. This dude is going to steal the business. Everyone's going to head to that carnival. Makes our haunted corn maze look like a sad shit show to his sideshow. Yay! That'll be fun, won't it? Ella? Chad? Do you think she's okay? Yeah, she'll be okay, kid. Let's tuck her into bed. Our sign is trashed. We're not gonna get nobody tonight. Let's pack it in. We can head on out to the carnival tomorrow morning after breakfast. Hey, where'd that guy go? Why? <laughs> Why the Egyptian, Arabic, Abyssinian, Choctaw? Well, what tongue does the wind talk? What nationality is a storm? What country do rains come from? What color is lightning? Where does thunder go when it dies? Oh, Willie says you gotta be ready in every dialect with every shape and form to hex the St. Elmo's fires, the balls of blue light that prowl the earth like sizzling cats. <laughs> Palace of the Winding Path, eh? What smell? Perfume, oh, perfume on buttery thighs. Belly dancers with come-hither eyes. Maybe old Willie will find him some thunderstruck concubines who want a taste of my lightning bolt. <laughs> Here I come, ladies. Old Willie's Tesla's got the only lightning in the world that can sass back any storm, raider or smart-ass dweller, no matter what tongue, voice, or sign. No foreign thunder so loud this rod can't soft talk it. Hey, what's this circus tent? Cougar and Dark's Pandemonium Shadow Show. Fantochini Marionetti Circus. And your Plain Meadow Carnival in Camden. Arriving immediately. Here on display one of the many attractions. The most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> she really is, you know. Ah! Look here, Raider. Oh, Willie's got lightning for anyone to taste. Undoubtedly, sir, but I bear you no know ill intent. I am Mr. Dark, and this is just a preview of things to come. A taste, if you will, before our main event. Oh, yes. Cougar and Dark. Got the fuzzy end of the lollipop there, boy. Cougar came first. Hooey! <laughs> Mr. Cougar and I approached our partnership with a certain degree of pragmatism. 
Why lead with ego and argue over who is the brightest storm cloud or trailing falling star when we simplify things alphabetically? C, then D, cougar, then dark. Well, whatever. Where's this hot piece of ass? Old Willie's been walking the roads for a bit and he'd like to air his loins if you get him adrift. <laughs> In my line of work, I find directness and bluntness to be so refreshing. Here, my good man, step right inside. Your Venus awaits. I'll wait patiently out here and close the curtains to give you two some privacy and become more acquainted. Venus, eh? Here I come, baby! <laughs> It's a bit dark in here. Say, what kind of bullshit is this? That's no woman. That's a block of ice. Willie. Oh, Willie. Eh? Who is that? Look into the eyes. Do you see me? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I see. There you are. Aren't you cold? I was waiting for you to want me, dear Willard. Will you not touch me? Touch the ice? Just a touch. One touch. Your warm hands on my icy bosom. I've been waiting so long. Oh, Venus. Willie is here. He... Oh, that's cold. That's cold. I, I can't get my hand. My hand stuck to the ice. Help! Help me! Help! And wild and sweet their words repeat of peace on earth, good will to men. Sweet, their words repeat of peace on earth, good will to men. Havoc. You see the way that dweller was running and trying to load his gun? P -p -p Please don't take my workshop. I made a farm. You can take some. <laughs> take some. Make some. A smile and a shank. And a body in the tank. <laughs> you want a brew? Or maybe something stronger? Cave Lord found a stash of chems. Mixed them all. Mixed them up, laughing in the dark, all night long. Shh. You hear them laughing? It's a carousel. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate. You took them all. It's a wonder you're not fucking eating dirt. Oi, who the fuck is that? Sounds like music. The song. The song on the wind, on wind whipped leaves, and dark dreams, forever, October country, and he's coming. Hey, who is that there? Just the shadow on the pave on the longer of days. <laughs> The flickering flame of the last pumpkin on All Hallows Eve. Look at this guy's friends. Evening, Governor. Yes, Havoc. Now that is a name. 
Love loves anarchy. It loves to wreak havoc. It loves to dance atop the ruins. And what, pray tell, do you love havoc? The dance and the pain. <laughs> Fancy fucking words. I want them clothes. You are a distraction. I have business. If you will permit me. My arm! You broke my fucking arm! Get off me! The greatest of crimes is to look in the mirror and smash the reflection there. To wield the shards of yourself to cut and harm others. Aware but not caring that you are broken. Help is required, but pity is owed to the worthy. I bid you good night. Good night, sweet prince. I require your services. An extended contract, terms non-negotiable. Do you accept? Tick tock. I've waited. Have a lifetime to dance. Look here, on my forearm. Do you see? A demon clown. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Touch your mark and let us begin the shadow show. Hey, hey there! Whoever is doing that, stop right now! All my pumpkins are falling down! Cease this immediately! You there! Wait for me! What is that? That's a that's a train. An honest to God train. Well, Jack is going to give them a taste of his flamethrower, by God! All my pumpkins are smashing on the street from that racket! The hell? Are they visitors? Someone got a train working? If, if so, that's a game changer. That's music. Up here, just over this hill. All my beautiful jack-o'-lanterns will have to start all over. Look, here she comes. That engine is old. It looks older than the 1900s, Civil War era maybe. Look at the flags in the cages, it's a carnival. A carnival here? Well, carnival or no, they're going to taste my blade and flamethrower by God. Hear that music? It's, 
it's kind of like church music. Church music is a bit of an odd selection for three o'clock in the morning. No. No, something's wrong. Look, there's no one playing the Calliope, look. Without me. Where are you going? Come back! What about my pumpkin? Fuck your pumpkins. That train is taking me out of here to who knows where. <sighs> Phew. Ain't it? Better keep quiet. Windows look like they haven't been cleaned in an age. This thing is so rusty, it's a wonder it doesn't shake itself apart. I'd better... Uh, tired. Oh god, so tired. I'd better rest. Don't... I don't want them to find me. Stay quiet. Make yummy roast. Mr. Punch, Mr. Punch, wake up, wake up. If Punch makes sleep, dream nice. Mr. Punch, there's a tasty vault dweller trapped out back. Tasty? Meat bag? Punch can eat? Not get scold? Yeah, come on, wake up, let's go. Just be quiet, we'll wake everyone. Wear a meat bag. Punch not like those metal shell ones. Had to crack shells. Messy, yuck. There, come on, pick me up. Run that way! You hear it? What noise? Where meat bag? Um, I told a little lie, but I needed your help. No meat bag for punch? Big mad! But I think that's the carnival coming to town. Hear it? Please, can you take me? Punch not like lie. Punch take. Punch big mad. Up go. Hold on. Ella? Hear that? Will you wake up? She's sick. Mr. Punch? 
Look! There it is! There it is! A real choo-choo! Punch not like. Smells bad. Like dead thing. Look! It's stopping over there at Camden Park! Huh? What that up there in sky? Um, it looks like a balloon. One of those fancy balloons you could go for a ride in before the big bombs. See? Someone's in it. Little meatbag come from train. Let's go home. Warm bed. Safe. Look. What's he doing? He's walking into the park and waving his hands. More little meat bags now from Metal Machine. Feels bad. Feels bad. Punch not like. Look, the clouds keep blocking the moon. I can't see. Oh, wait, look. All the tents are there. They work fast. Lickety split. Where'd balloon go? I can't see. It's dark again. Oh, there. Where'd everybody go? Punch not like. Bad place. Bad people. <gasps> oh. What? The, the train stopped. Camden Park? It's 3.30 a.m. How the, how the hell did they get from Sunnytop Station to Camden Park in a half hour? Hey, you there. Oh, shit. When I catch you, I'll crush your skull. Tent. When a 19th century train casually shows up out of nowhere and a carnival materializes faster than is humanly possible, you'd have to have your head up your ass to not wonder what the hell is going on, or even be remotely curious. I smelled popcorn this afternoon and thought I was losing my mind. Then that weird calliope music? The time, Jake, is what bothers me. This train can't exist. 3 a.m. used to be called the soul's midnight. The phrase came from the fact that more people died at 3 a.m. than any other time. The nearest time, even when alive and dreaming, you are to death than any other. This place is wrong, and I want to find out what it is. Because it sure as hell isn't a carnival. After what you two did to me at the trial, I should show you how close to death you are. That guy that came off the train and ran this way, and some other guy gave chase. Well, let's not get caught. This place gives me the creeps. Where to? There's a mirror maze over there. I think I saw him in there. Let's go. Yeah, you two do that. Fuck the both of you. Urgh. What is that? Cougar and Dark present the most beautiful in the world. Poster's missing a piece. What is some serious chunk of ice? Gaze upon the timeless beauty, the fairest of the fair. The heart's longing made flesh. That's some pitch. Wait, there's there's someone in there. Can't see what it is in the ice. How are they? Alone. Always alone. Never held. Never. 
never held, never touched, never loved. A heart empty, a heart filling with delicious pain. With every mile walked, every choice made. But just to touch and be touched. Uh, to be touched, rage for us. Choose. Make a choice, a crying heart. Touch, touch, touch. Touch, no touch, touch. No, no! The choice is made. The path is chosen. In fire. And ice. Ice. Come one, come all, to Cougar and Dark's Pandemonium Shadow Show. See Mephisto, the lava drinker. This fella doesn't chug Nuka Cola, kid. Madam, dare you stand before the demon guillotine? A thousand and one wonders await inside, folks. Man, just look at this place. Chad, Chad, look! Hold punch hand! Not nice! Not real! Right, the wonderful carousel of dreams. Apologies from the management, but the carousel is currently out of order. Ah, uh, tough break, kid. That's okay. Lots of other stuff to see. Aw, oh, damn, dude! This carnival is lit! And look, they got the rides working too! Patsy, come on, let's do the bumper cars. I want to smash you from behind. <laughs> Ew, like, don't be gross, Moose. Hey, what kind of entertainment do you have here exactly? Our midway will dazzle and delight, madam. Maybe your fella can try his hand at our Nuka Zappa game. He can pit his arm against others for big prizes. I mean, like, fun stuff? Something I'd like? Here, take our program and map of the carnival grounds. You could stand before the most beautiful woman in the world. There, modestly prized, Mr. Coogan and Dark have assembled the finest beauty elixirs and creams from the ancient world. The Lotus Cream, praised by Cleopatra herself, a vial of Aquavitae from Aphrodite herself. That's more like it. Come on, Moose. I'm gonna go smash some noobs in the bumper cars. You go and enjoy the creams and stuff, and I'll meet you there. See if they have any Hercules lube or something. Come on, Chad. Come on. I will look. Dick. Dot. Ghost. The. Clock. One time. Round. One. Time. Not. What are those? Those are sideshow paintings. Like ads for shows, freaks and stuff. They've seen better days. 
Looks like they've seen more action than I have lately. Can you read them? Um, li live wood? Wooden Indian? The be bearded lady? The monster... Montgolfier. That was a hard one. Fucked if I know what it even is. Well, what do you want to see first? Ooh, can we go on the haunted house ride? Look, look, it's got little carts to ride in. Uh, sure. Fifty cups, please. Oof, damn, dude. You sure you don't want to maybe go on a roller coaster or maybe check out the mirror maze, kid? Oh, what's wrong? I've never been a fan of this kind of frats and shit. If some dude jumps out and scares me in there, I'm going to load both barrels in his face and our day trip is going to end well, fast. I guess. Mr. Punch, will you take me? That thing will not be able to fit in a ride with you. Punch, go. Keep safe. Sit on lap. Maybe I wasn't clear. Excuse me, Mr. Handy. Uh, would you mind if I ripped your eye stalks off and shoved them up your thrust hole? Oh, my lo- uh, Step lively, folks. Mind the truck. That'll be 50 cups, please. Here we go, dude. Lovely child. You're raising. I'm so proud. Ugh. Spooky car look like skull. Make nice chair at home. Maybe punch take one. Whee! Let's go! Allow me, Mr. Handy. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Cougar, your conductor into terror. Always keep your hands and feet inside the cart if you value them. You are about to enter the haunted house, a ride that is not for the faint of heart. What's wrong with you, Ella? In the bones of this building are all that remains of Gabriel Chase, the most haunted home in Massachusetts. Legends say that Captain Mosley returned home to his bride to find her in the arms of another. In a feral rage, he took axe in hand and rendered them limb from limb, all before hanging himself in despair on the stairs. Jesus Christ, dude, cool it, she's twelve. Uh, going on forty. As I said, not for the faint of heart. Enjoy the ride. Are you sure this ride doesn't interest you? Yeah, no. Fuck that, dude. Perhaps something a little more entertaining while you wait. Just there. Dark's Temple of Temptation. See Cleopatra's Handmaidens and their Dance of a Thousand Veil. Dude, the only way that this could be more perfect you did not finish reading. Smoke, the famed hookah of Persian king Karim Karn, lost ages, rediscovered. What shall you see in the smoke rings? Dude, yes! Right this way, sir. Here, a ticket for entry. On the house. Compliments of my associate, Mr. Dark. Kick ass, dude! Can't see a fucking thing in here! Oh, damn. Stunning, aren't they? Uh, yeah, bro. Care for a smoke? Hell yeah! Uh, how do I hit this bomb, bro? The hookah is a little different than that, my friend. Your bong, in comparison to this, 
is the equivalent of the awkward, all too short fumblings of youth to the measured and experienced loving of long years. This hookah is seasoned by three centuries, born in the royal court of Karim Kanzand. It is a social versus a solitary experience. Wreathed in smoke, rings of herbs and fruit convene friend and foe, rulers and despots, murderers and madmen. Yeah, how do I smoke it, dude? I want to watch these girls wiggle their bits. Chatting is killing the vibe. Indeed, my apologies, but context is everything. Here, the shisha, an aromatic tobacco, a variety each with its own unique experience. Would you mind if I select for you? Sure, dude. Whatever. Excellent. Here, the hose and mouthpiece. Now, inhale lightly. You have all the time in the world. All the run-down, lost minutes and years of clocks frozen in a forever October. Now exhale. <coughs> this, this, this stuff is... Look, through the smoke. See them through the smoke. I feel... Oh, man. This is... Look, watch them move so fluid, a dance of the ages, from woman to man. A dance in a garden elsewhere in time, when she danced for Adam, seducing him to warm folds and perpetual damnation. Amber skin, a flawless expanse of supple, giving flesh, as sensitive to the touch as wet clay. How experienced fingers could mold it. Su Susie? She... Uh, she must be waiting. This dance is a private affair, I think. Ladies, my compliments, Mr... Johnson. Uh, Chad. Enjoy the show, Mr. Johnson. Places belong to nasty mole people. Angry with screaming and cutting, shooting and swearing. Mole people hate super mutants. Oh, look, Mr. Punch. Oh, this is a big room. Oh, it's a dining room. Look at all the dancing ghosts. Do 
stupid ride broke! Silly human, now what Punch do? I'm sure they'll fix it soon. Look, Mr. Punch, look at all the food. Do you think it's real? Oh, Punch stinks so! Punch stinks so! Where are you going? The ride could start any minute! What are you saying, Ella? Mr. Punch, come back! Oh, sticky chicken, hot roast, yummy mushroom soup, and good brew, good brew! Mr. Punch! Punch, hurry! Punch hungry! Punch hungry! Mr. Punch, don't leave me by myself! Delicious, isn't it, my large friend? Here, try suckling pig. It is particularly good. Candied pork. Sweet yet musky. Not exactly long pig, but it's complimentary fare that is close enough for polite society. Mm, go food! Great! Good food, good meat, good God, let's eat! Truth be told, of all vices, gluttony is my favorite. It takes effort and intent, true skill to master. But at its core, gluttony of the gut begets gluttony of the mind. More brew? Drink up? It's Guinness. Not local, but the very real thing, I assure you. The ghost from another era. Punch like brew! Punch make brew! The mind is hungry, often for things I cannot name. Like your tongue and taste buds, remember the sensation of a meal you cannot recall in unremarkable year. What is it you are hungry for, mister? No, punch not! Punch not, no! I think you do. Though by no fault of your own, the essence of you was poured into a sexless brute with the mind of a child, yet the anger of a man raging against the dark late in life. You remember something, don't you? What you used to be. Who you used to be. What you say? Look, in the dark swills of your drink, see there, a boy laughing. What was his name? the name. There is power in a name. Name him. Sure, 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 man. Dalton. Dalton Sherman. Yes. Oh, that night. Oh, what a night in Huntersville, as the best and brightest clad in crisp linen lab coats and grizzled tin soldiers did something just because they could. And you, a mother's love, a mother's protection. When they came to the door demanding custody, as if it was something as casually given away as asking to borrow a cup of sugar. Upstairs, feverish with skin the color of fresh peas, you heard it all. The anger in her voice, the fear, the demand behind the click of weaponry being armed. M ma Mama! They! Yes, a single conclusion. Such a small thing. It tore through her as it tore your life in two. Cleaved your humanity. Your final scream as a human. The innocence of youth. Popping 
like a blown bubble. Took, took mama, kill mama! If gluttony is a sin, their act caused the old gods to cry out in surprise and horror. What if I could give you back what you lost? Mama! No, that is beyond my power. But look here. There, in painted swirls and inks on my bicep. Do you see? Do you accept? Imagine a humanity lost. A half of your soul rendered restored. Your hand. Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you accept? Something wrong, little one? My friend got out of the ride and he left me! He's still in there! Poor thing. Poor little thing. So lost. So alone. I can help you. Where's Chad? Chad! He was right here! The carnival gets busy. But it's nothing to fear. We all lose ourselves in the lights and the music. Come, take my hand, and I'll help you find your friend. What a precious little doll. May I see it? Nuh-uh. Ella doesn't like other people to hold her. Chad! With all the noise, I don't think he'll hear you. Come, take my hand. No, you're a stranger. Strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Besides, I'm part of the family here. I am the Dust Witch. What's a dust witch? Yes. We are born in the dusty, in the dry, shadowy places. We dance in the dust, and then we return to... Chad! Let me help. Put a finger on me, lady, and I'll be wearing it. Oh, my. Well, that's not very ladylike, Susie. How do you know my name? I am the Dust Witch. See my ring? It whispers things to me. It tells me such things. Look, see how it sparkles. It's... it's so pretty. Yes, it tells me, and it also shows me. Look, look deep inside. What do you see? I see me. That's me. But I'm grown up. I'm big. Yes. Your heart cries out. Forever a child, but never an adult. I'm so pretty. My skin, it's not yucky. 
How would you like to be a grown-up, Susie? How'd that feel, do you think? Not to be looked down at? Not to be told to run away and play by Patsy or Moose? To be trusted? To be feared more than you are? To know what Chad and the other grown-ups do behind locked doors when children are asleep? It's... So warm. It is. Wouldn't that be grand? You could be queen of the carnival. Beautiful. Forever. No! Chad! Too late. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Su -su Susie? Susie? Susie! I'm coming! Uh, uh not for you, ladies. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Uh, oh! What the... Fuck, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Susie? Susie? Where are you? You're not finished. Look into my ring. The Dust Witch commands you! Out of my way, bitch! Ah! You asshole! Punch! Susie! Say there, Sonny, do you have what it takes to dazzle with feats of strength? Step right up, test your strength, win a big prize! Yeah, a real challenge there. Someone pops a buff out and blows the bell apart. Get away from here, kid. You bother me. I get that a lot. I know this bag. Tesla's. Ignatius Willard? Why the hell would he just leave these here? Spin the wheel! Take a risk! The Wheel of Fortune awaits! One in ten wins, one thousand caps! No, damn it, fuck off! Miserable, rude bastard. I don't understand. Everything looks so normal here. Rides, games, food. Everyone just seems to be having fun. Fortunes told and futures seen. Visit Mademoiselle Tarot. Dark's Temple of Temptation. The Egyptian Maze. See yourself 10,000 times. I'm good, thanks. I hate mirrors. Funny thing about mirrors is that they never lie. They show us our truest self. Some people run screaming at their own reflection. Others simply get lost. It's like swimming infinity. Yeah, you never can tell what you find in there. Acne, just out of bed hair, things of that nature. You look familiar. I never forget a face. Neither do I. Simon Rex. Cougar. Mister. Enjoying the show? I suppose. It's a refreshing change, I'll give you that. The first wholesome thrill we've had since Reclamation Day. An honest-to-God autumn carnival. Apropos for a place where it's perpetually October. Clocks and calendars frozen in time. Yes. October country. A place where people autumn people 
thinking only autumn thoughts. Whose people passing at night on the empty walks sound like rain. Sure, whatever, if you'll excuse me. I do hope you find your friends. What did you say? Your friends. Tall, thin boy with a bit of the wolf in him, I think. And his girl, the bespectacled opportunist. They were asking after you. Interesting. But you're wrong in thinking that they're friends of mine. When next I meet them, we're going to have a reckoning. I don't forget. And I don't forgive. Mirror maze. What? I believe they are still in the mirror maze. They're in here? Right inside. The entry is five caps, but I've seen that look on your face before. A barely contained rage. You can't decide when you see them if you are going to punch or yell, cry or shoot. Here you are. One ticket. One trip. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. This, even looking in, it, it goes on forever. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm? The hair. The hair on the back of my neck, it's standing up. I thought that was something that only happened in scary stories. Every story is a scary story, depending on your perspective. Everyone is a villain in someone else's story. Stepping inside? I... It, no. I think... Simon? Simon? Is that you? Simon, where are you? Jake. Amada. Stay away from us. Stay away. Leave us alone. No, I'm tired of being ignored. Farewell, Mr. Rex. Jake, Amada, I'm coming for you. No. No. Stay away. You're a monster. Monster? You're a bird. Our life was fine without you in it. You both lied. We swore an oath. <laughs> Listen to him, Amada. Ah, can't see. We're over here. Why don't you come this way? No, this way so I can kick your ass. Or maybe you want to kiss his ass? Or maybe mine. <laughs> You're pathetic. Pathetic. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to kill the both of you. Help. Help me. Who, who is that? Please, I can't swim. What? Drowning? Wait, I'm coming. What do you think, Amada? Hold him under? Let's dunk him on three. Stop! What the fuck are you two doing? Get off me! Get off! <laughs> Look at him, Amada. Looks like a little fish. More like a minnow. So small and weak. Oh, it's cold. <sighs> what the hell? Oh, wait, I'm coming, kid. Say goodbye, little fish. Big breath now. Please, please don't. Where's mom? Where's Dad? Jake, fucking stop. Oh, look. Here he comes. Oh. Oh. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Says simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your ware. Find the way around, goddamn mirrors. Says the pieman to simple Simon, show me first your penny. Says simple Simon to the pieman, indeed. I have not any. I want to go home. Please. One last dunk should do it. Hey, Jake. Yes? Eat lead. See where they went? It's okay, look at me. I'm here. Everyone leaves. No, no. No. You. 
Your face. What are you? What is this? I'm so alone. I want everyone. All the time. And I take. And I want. I want. I take. Others eat nummies. I swallow people whole. <laughs> Simple sign when a fishing. For to catch a whale. All the water he had done was in his mother's pail. <laughs> <laughs> Simple sign when to look. If plums grew on a thistle, he pricked his fingers very much, which made poor Simon whistle. What is this? Lost, lost, always lost. Then they find me. In the mirror maze, they find a face, a face or two, or three. <laughs> Where's Amada and Jake? Gone, gone. You could say they're sitting things out. When autumn leaves start to fall. <laughs> nope, I hate clowns. I get that a lot. Good for you. See you later. But where are you going? The further you go, the deeper you go. I've never been a fan of mazes. Back in the vault when I was a kid, we read about the Minotaur, and I only ever asked one question. Oh? Do tell. <laughs> Instead of fucking around in circles, why not just go in a straight line? What? Do that? Rules! Rules! You're breaking the rules! Fuck rules. Back of the tent. Come back! Come back! Oh, he'll be mad! You were his. Wait, Simon! Come back! You're killing us! Yeah, kill us softly. Yeah, I've had enough of the carnival, thanks. It's night already. How long was I in there? Oh shit, gotta hide. Where is he? You let him escape, fool! I claimed the girl. I was still weak. The fool shoved me into a trash can like refuse. The snake woman is dead! I want him found. Bring him before me. We have until midnight when the storm arrives. The last of our guests have left. We are clear. The clown lost his quarry. What of the other one? The fair-haired hungry one? Clown! Stop lurking in the shadows, you cur! Cheat! Cheat! He's a dirty cheat. He scampered and ran. Fleed from my blade. Choking me. You know what we are. You called us like a dog in heat, filling your pathetic existence with infantile attempts at artistry. We are not a country club, nor a bus station housing the worthless and unworthy as they roll from one stop to another, looking for reason or reckoning. You failed your first test spectacularly. <laughs> She, 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 she failed with me. Her ledger would make the most aged account moan in ecstasy. You barely scrawled your name to a page. Moreover, we do not tolerate failure, but we are not wasteful. Let us reassign you to an exhibit more fitting. No. No. Mr. Cougar, raise this clown's feet from the earth and bring him. Get off from me! <laughs> Let me be! Come, witch. Time to still this clown's dark laughter. Time to still this prancing fool. Lose his tongue until I choose to find it again. No! No! 
I will seek. I will find. I will find him. Silence, Still, you crazy fool. Bring our newest exhibit. Let us find a mount for him. What the fuck was that? Oh. You! Get, you son of a bitch! Me. Where is she? Who? Susie! You piece of shit! Who? My... My kid! Y your what? Look, I have no idea what the hell you're on about. I spent the better part of the afternoon trapped in a mirror maze from hell. Why are you covered with hickeys? Never mind that. Get off me. If you're looking for answers, we're losing them. Shoot me or get off me. What answers? Come if you're coming. We'll likely survive longer together and I could use some muscle. There's something bigger here than the beef you and I have with each other. Still fucking hate you, dude. Right back at you. Beckley Butcher. How many years you stole from your prey all those years ago? All the stolen smiles, the light laughter, the loves, the moans, and the screams of mourning. You tore the pages of their books, and with wielded blade, and cast them to the earth. Let us pick them up again, and you can taste their pages. Let the lost years lick you mad. There, back of the tent, come on. This place smells like shit. Must be all them zoo animals. It's the carousel. Look. What are they doing? Let's see. Ah, perfect. Here. The laughing seal. How appropriate. Mr. Cougar, if you would be so kind. My pleasure. Enjoy your ride, friend. Our missing friends. The dark-haired Adonis and the fair-haired lost child. Take the balloon. Release your dust. Find them. They shall be found. Mr. Cougar, if you wouldn't mind arranging for our friend here to be unveiled as Mr. Electrico. Let's see how he dances and laughs riding the lightning. Of course. Farewell, my friend. This ride is on me. This music sucks, dude. It's a funeral dirge. A, a funeral song. Look. Something is happening to him. That clown is looking funny. Look, look at his hair. He's aging. Like his face is melting. That carousel isn't a carousel. Like he's getting older on that thing. It's some kind of time machine rolling his years forward. How's he working it? I, I can't see. Hey, stay still, damn it. Huh? Run, run! Fuck that dude! <laughs> oh yes! That's the kind of fire we need! Run, go! Witch! Witch! Bind these runners! Where are we going? Fucking hiding, your stupid ass. Couldn't sit still for a minute. There. Gypsy wagon. Uh, mad, 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 whatever, taro. Emma 
Mrs. Altero, for fuck's sake. Shh. It's clear, come on. Move your fat ass! She's coming! Outnumbered. You charge in there like some kind of fucking bull. You'll get us killed. I don't fucking hide in a bush like a snowflake. You fight. You get out there and you do it. It's old in here. Look at all this stuff. There's cobwebs everywhere. This is older than the rest of the carnival. Pictures here. Look at this dude. Looks like an elephant. I wonder if he's rocking that sweet third leg. <laughs> Newspapers here dating back over a hundred years. All local? All from October. Darken Cougar's Autumn Carnival returns 2020. Halloween storm devastates region. Mr. Dark and Mr. Cougar present Shadow Pantomime and Circus, 1984. Cougar and Dark Autumn Festival, 1936. Look at this crap. Shoes, wallets, purses. Must have belonged to people. Hey, hey, what's this? Looks like an old journal. Diary of Reverend Charles Herbert Holloway, Minister of Camden Township. October 1891. We've had no good fortune since there arrived here the Autumn Carnival. It seems strange to speak of such things in these enlightened times. But a poor, lame servant girl went to the fortune teller to inquire how she might run. Her leg mended, and she then ran mad. It seems they destroy people by granting their dearest wishes, as has been the way of the devil since God created the world. Old folks of this town say they remember such a carnival of evil visiting many autumns past in the days of their youth. The traveling people swore that they would return some other Halloween. Their visit ended with a most unusual storm. Tonight, I return to that damned carnival. May the Lord protect me. I can hear them whispering to me. There's dust all over this junk. No, don't disturb the dust. <sighs> She's here. Let's just nuke the bitch. God damn it, Chad. Weapons won't work on them. Run. Bullshit. When it comes to women, when the Chad has a loaded weapon, it always works. Eat a missile, you old bitch! I don't believe it. Look. She's sending the dust. Come on. It's... Fuck. Dude. Get away from me, you old cow. Don't... Don't... Don't breathe it. Bind these runners. Yes. Yes. Quiet and still. Still and quiet. Now, walking forth. Slow and steady. Follow me.
Mr. Cougar, behold our newest freak, our latest marvel, Mr. Electrico. Mr. Electrico! The shriveled corpse, the jester and the fool, the ash clown with his porcelain paint and desiccated heart. See him dance and jump, aged a century, a relic of the old war before the cleansing flames. She returns with the twins. Ah, excellent. Just in time for our final act. Thunderheads approach, and we must complete our business here. Quiet and meek, bound and still. Let us return their tongues, their silent voices. Choked in dust, return to me. Free the tongues, so says I. Move. I... I can't move. Hey! She bitch, you missed a little. <sighs> ah, you dare? Silence, Mr. Cougar. Lights, please. Gentlemen, welcome to the final act of Cougar and Dog's Pandemonium Shadow Show. A pantomime in dust, centuries old. Returning to Appalachia for one night only, your host to this evening, introductions all around. My name is Mr. Dark, better known as the Illustrated Man. Like you're a cartoon? In your simple tongue, the painted one, the tattooed wonder, monsters, madmen, serpents, and there, the dust witch. There, Mr. Pinhead and the Fat Man. Where's the snake woman below your belt? <laughs> How about you let me out of this chair and I can tattoo my boot on your ass? How predictably vulgar. I could kill you so easily. You can certainly try. Plenty others have. This fuckwit next to me unloaded two barrels into me once. But I think you've been running this shit show for a while now. And if you could, you'd have done it. I know who you are. My mother used to tell me stories her mother told her with a warning. Beware the autumn people. We are the hungry ones. Where do you come from, the dust? Where do you go to, the grave? Your torments and pains, your dark desires and shattered dreams, your unspoken lust and wants. Oh, they call us from the deep places like dogs in the night. We rise, we perform, we dance, and we feed. And feed well. Where's Susie, you smooth-talking asshole? All in due time. You feed on other people's nightmares and dreams like parasites. You are like soft churned butter spread on our plain bread, unctuous and just a little sweet from delicious pain and yearning. Dude, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Your misery is sweet, Mr. Johnson. We seek it. We lick it with a lapping tongue. Where the fuck is Susie? Right you are. Behold! The parade of the lost and the damned. The refuse of humanity, reshaped by the dust into beautiful shadows. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the skeleton. The ruin of strength. The monument to a towering bulk devoid of brain. See him now. Moose? What? What the fuck did you do to him? Uh, I'm hungry. So hungry. And yet you will find no sustenance in creation to fill you up now, nor fill you out. Choice. We need to know what we want. Give it to us. The world's smallest woman and her talking doll. S Susie? What? 
What the hell did you do to her? Oh my god. Where am I? I can't see. Am I pretty? The eternal child, with skin flayed like it's trying to peel away from the horror of what she has become. Indeed, Mr. Cougar. Now the feminine Aphrodite has the body of a woman in miniature, but with eyes that no longer see. You shall live out your days inside perfection, but never see it for yourself. Yes, you are very pretty. Listen to me, you sons of bitches. When I get out of this chair, I'm gonna burn this place. You hear me? Dark, let me up. The doll born out of time, a lesser demon dwarfed by the mere shadow of us, drowning in dust, a voice lost. You are no more of a threat than a rain-filled pothole. <laughs> the Two-Headed Lady You are beautiful. So beautiful. No, you are. <laughs> we are beautiful. The cheerleader, obsessed with her own vanity, at last finds the approval and admiration she seeks herself. Your anger, your hatred, your bias and judgment were just masks. If we were to drink your soul, we would be left parched. You are as the void of empathy as you are of kindness. What an emptiness you have, using your physical body alone to charm and seduce. At last, you have found an approving eye, a sycophant twin. Our swine, the horror of Appalachia, the half-pig, half-man. Punch! Oh, oh no! No! More! 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 The Forgotten Man, buried in the shell of a monster. Look at you now. Your humanity restored, and yet you are but a half-man. The swine looking for swill, crawling in the mud and forever seeking the comforting bosom of a mother not founding any grave. You shall dig in the dirt forever, eating to fill that empty hole left by the man's bullet. And our duel act. <laughs> ah yes, our snoops and chatters, the half-man, half-woman. Jake? Amato, what did you do? What, what the hell did you do? Yes, Jake. The casual monster, so quick with a sarcastic quip, a charm and earnestness of a wolf in the pelt of a sheep. How oh, you feasted on so many, powerful and strong, and yet you crumbled at the touch of your desired, like a domesticated dog on a leash. Your other half, Amata, the meddling know-it-all who gets it more wrong than her id and ego allow her to face. You care for so very little, and in the year to come, I wonder how far your leaking heart will allow you to go. We are one. Always one. We are together. The complete. I cannot think. Mr. Willard, the demon midget. Small, small, please don't crush me. And last but not least, the seller of lightning. The perverse wanderer, so quick to stay ahead of the lightning and the storms that he never stays to fight them. He lusts over smooth thighs and perfumed skins. Now the ladies of countless ages will look at him and laugh. Long and loud. What is the point of all this? 
I could hear your hearts beating from miles away, though my ears are not as finely tuned as the witch. Your ears, your heart's desire, your deepest unspoken yearnings. You two, the personification of light and dark, born mere minutes apart with an ocean and hatred between you. How would you like to join us, to leave this place, travel the winds? Dust can travel anywhere and everywhere. Not my monkeys, not my circus. Chad Johnson, the bulging, swaggering athlete. Your daddy wasn't like other daddies, was he? He found solace and comfort in the bottoms of bottles and illegal moonshine buried his seed between the thighs of any woman with a pulse. I wonder how many brothers and sisters you have. Fuck you! Imagine, no mother's soft embrace, reassuring words, bedtime stories and propped up dreams. You were born in the shadow of a monster who spoke with fists and vulgarities. Is it little wonder that you spotted weakness in that one there? Saw the shadow of the mewling infant daddy ignored and hated him to the very bone. I am not like him! No, quite true. You are running your fastest mile yet. A triathlon in Appalachia, serving as father, brother, and nursemaid to little Susie here, the world's smallest woman. Do you think you can sustain that? You fake love like a twenty-year bride fakes ecstasy. What if you could show little Susie the world? Leave this place, be unbound in time and place. Give her the life you never had, wanting for nothing. Get out of my face! Perhaps we could sweeten the deal. You could be reborn as the great Callistro, magician of the dark ages. How many times you could bury dear Simon there and put him every day where you were put. In the earth. I've never been one for words, but if you were a real man, you'd be putting up your fists instead of spitting words. So be it. Mr. Rex, then? Oh, you. What a piece of work you are. Like your most hated foe over there. Mommy and Daddy shuffled off the mortal coil when you were but a boy, with deaths that were so comically pointless. An overdose on breakfast cereal for father and carried off into the darkness by rad roaches for mother. Fuck you, buddy. You think you're the only one who can see through people? I wonder how many roads you've traveled, how empty an existence you have. A man once, perhaps, ignored and invisible, powerless and weak. Oh, no, 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 frozen inside, that little boy, that lonely, lonely boy, so hungry for human contact, to be seen and heard and touched, that as much as you crave it, it is like a hair sweater worn in penance. How you squirm in it, how unworthy you must feel. So you run, because you always run. How many roads have you traveled? The map of your travels around Appalachia looks like a child's squiggle and their first attempt at a circle. You are circling the drain, growing older and angrier with every smile. Any day now, you will light a match to snuff out any light and joy you see. It's not like that. I'm not. But you are. In your own voice, Appalachia Day whatever, I have discovered nothing in a pile of nothing. I found friendship, then I ate him or abandoned him. <laughs> your tapes, your 
endless droning. Who are these for exactly? Does it make you feel like you are being heard if you scream into this machine? Get to the fucking point already. I am old. Older than the hills. I have no progeny. No family. What I wish, what my heart yearns for, is to mentor another. I could be like a father to you. The one lost, I can take you back. A ride on a painted horse on the singing carousel. Back through time. Slough off this moldy, angry shell to the purest part of you. Lost innocence restored. Join me. I'd rather die. I'm good at that. Don't reject a gift so simply. Let's turn back these tapes and your days to... 20? 20. What a year. On the verge of manhood. Speak now. Say yes or you'll miss it. No. Gone. 19? Yes, 19. The summer's edge of youth. No. 19 is gone. 17. School almost done. You know yourself and your limits. 17 is gone. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. Stop. Yes. 12. The year of loss. Right here. Right here. Twelve? Please, I... I... I want it back. I want it all back. You do, don't you? I'm so tired. Tired of running. I'm tired of being alone. I'm so fucking alone. <laughs> then come. Let it be done. A free ride round and then a new life. A new chapter. Which? Unbind this runner. Free his legs. Let him run free. Come, my boy. Take my hand. We have so much work to do. The good work. What about him? We care for our own. He is useless to me. Today is your birthday, so let me give you what you failed to accomplish. Come. Mr. Cougar? Witch? Stop this fool's clock. Yes! Quiet time. Let little Susie watch. What, what are you doing? Hear your heart. Hear it beating down, down on the floor. Lie in repose. What, what, are you, what are you doing? Get off me! Stop your clock. Stop. Stupid bitch. 
Your act may have worked before, but we die all the time here. And guess what? We come back. Stop! Slow! <laughs> Get off me! Stop! Get back! Now that your little spell's broken, here's an ass kick I owed that guy. Your old electric dude could use a lap dance. Susie, I'm sorry. I'll be back for you. I need to take care of something first. Where is Chad? I'll be back. Will it hurt? Quite the opposite. It's like sailing in an open lake. Choose one. That one. The Ebony Mare. An appropriate choice. On you go, Mr. Cougar. Enjoy the ride. Still. Hey, asshole. Chad. Your old broad's breath smelt like a rat died in another rat's ass. You. Mr. Cougar, stop him. Thanks for sharing that you guys hate lightning. Here's something to feed on. The Tesla stop him. No! You fool! Stop! This ride's on me. You can have, Simon. Nah! My leg! Stuck! Funny thing about dust, dude. It always blows away. Gah! My leg! Ah, stuck! No! Some dark and stormy night while the tempest blows. If someone whistles, 
That's mysterious, mysterious Mose. Huh. That's weird. What's weird? It's the deja vu feeling. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ella's voice is finally free. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Chode, where you want meatbag leftovers? Down in the back of that inflatable snowman. Punch hate clowns, stupid clowns. Good meat with greasy yuck paint. Hey, kid. Yeah? Come here for a minute. <laughs> Stop mushing me. Why are you acting all weird? I love you. Well, I love you too. <clears throat> Come on. Let's get our maze of death ready. This is going to be a great Halloween. He sees all, he knows, he knows all, all, he gets in gets everywhere. In everywhere. Some might, he, he might, wait, wait for you up, up on the stairs. stairs. So when, when you're, you're going, going down, down the cellar, cellar walk, walk upon, upon your, your toes. toes. And, and if someone, someone whistles, whistles <gasps> that's Mysterious Moe's. called a pumpkin house without more pumpkins? Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Hurry up there, Mr. Rex. We need more pumpkins. What's the matter with you? Nothing. It's... Yeah. Just give me a minute. Did, did you hear... Hear what? Nothing. It, it was nothing. Some nights out here when the leaves rustle and blow, I close my eyes and the abyss opens beneath me. I fall into a fathomless void, and I remember things best left forgotten that vanish away from me when I awake. When we were little, Jake used to ask me, what scares you? I'd check my closet and under my bed and say simply, ghosts. But as the calendars fall away and my eyes grow older, I realize that we're all afraid of ghosts. Not those from gothic fiction that clutch chains or wail in dark places, but the ghost in the mirror. We are all haunted by ourselves. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Uh -huh.
the funny thing about dust is, no matter how much you dust, it always comes back. So dust, if you must, for in the end, we too become dust. Yeah. Uh-huh. 